Hi, happy Monday. And in true Monday form, I started recording this video without pressing record. So this is take two and hopefully this one will work out. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> I have a stack of Halloween themed books uh, and one fall themed book for this season. I just wanted to go through these and um, show what I've got, what I'm working with. If anyone's interested on full in a full flip through, please let me know. I would love to do that. And um, that's pretty much what this video is about. I did mention, I had mentioned that I am participating in Nikki's spooky Halloween. I think that's the correct tag. Nikki, I'm sorry if I got that wrong. <laughs> but um, this is one of the books that I'm using. I absolutely adore Hannah Lynn. I have probably done quite a few and I'm trying so hard not to show but it's difficult, <laughs> so you get the idea, um, you know, yeah, what are you gonna do, but these are so cute, they're just, they're so cute, you, you can't go wrong with Helen, um, that's her Enchanted Halloween, I did get this one last year, I think, and I had only done one, and then I just went a little crazy, the next few are colored by number, which it's something I haven't really done, uh, something I just recently got into doing, so um, I thought I would get into these. This is Halloween Horror by Color Questopia. They range from, you know, on the detailed side to a bit more simple, I guess, depending on what your definition of that is. But, you know, some of them do get a little more detailed. The, uh, one of the other books I'll show you is actually quite detailed, so, but it's fun nonetheless. It's uh, this book, it's Witch Fantasy by Color Questopia, and this one does get a little bit um, tiny, <laughs> so, but again, beautiful images, lots of fun. Um, I have done one in here so far, and I do plan to do more. Oh, that's the color palette if you wanted to see that and then there's the color by number mosaic spooky Halloween which I have done a couple in I'll show you that one which isn't my favorite the color of the pumpkin was a bit too dark for me I started with alcohol marker and then finished it with uh, water-based marker <laughs> so it got a little messy but hey um, it's hard to make out images in this one but you get the gist that's your color palette right there and some of the images you'll find so that's also a fun one one of my favorites is well and something I haven't really done much in is Jasmine Beckett Griffith's Halloween I do enjoy her artwork I have some of her oracle decks so I'm very familiar with her style and it is something I have enjoyed for quite a long time so something I do like that's one I have done that's the notorious bleed through with some of these Arteza markers. I don't understand what causes that, but what are you going to do? Anyway, these are lovely images, some more detailed than others. Um, that's the back. It's a lovely book. The paper is beautiful in here. It can hold most mediums, I think. I haven't attempted water based ones, but I will. Then there's this one The Vampires by Jade Summer, Grayscale. Haven't done anything in this one. Got this one last year, but I hope to this year. That'll be fun. So yeah, there's some good images in here. I do really, really love Jade Summer Grayscale. Um, you really can't go wrong. So it's it's quite it's quite lovely. The images are lovely and they're very well done. So again, you get two copies. Um, so if you mess one up, <laughs> you're okay. <laughs> This is Cute Witches by Jade Summer. This is something I recently got and it is just the sweetest. I absolutely adore this book. It is so cute. I've only done one so far. Uh, if you're part of Nikki's coloring group on Facebook, you will have seen it, but um, I do plan to do more. She's absolutely adorable. So very, very cute images. Again, you get two copies. So. That's a real fun one. I think that's one I'm probably going to be working on well beyond Halloween. <laughs> Here's the Jade Summer Autumn coloring book. Um, 
These are cute, cute, uh, fairly simple, fairly quick. Um, I went through quite a few actually because they just were so quick and I was trying out new markers and wanted to see how they, how they worked with some gel pens and it's a lot of fun. Fall themed mainly um, with, I think there were two that said um, Halloween or one maybe, I don't know, but so cute, so, so cute another one that I am enjoying. Then of course I had to get the Halloween version of that. Because <laughs> of course I did. But um, these are adorable. Just the cutest. I, it's probably something I will be working on with my son. So very cute. Again, similar to the last one. Uh, larger images, uh, pretty simple but lots of fun anyway. <laughs> He's cute. <laughs> so yeah, it's this one as well. Cute, cute, very cute book. Then I have the Deborah Muller stack. <laughs> and um, yes, I do love Deborah Muller. I love her witches. They're lots of fun. I have not done anything in this one, um, but I will. Cute. Deborah Muller's Magical Witches, uh, Halloween Sweets and Pinups, which I have done. Oh, more than a few in here. <laughs> They're fun to kind of work with gel pen. So these are cute, really cute. I do enjoy these. They're also not so complex that they would take forever and ever. So yeah, that's a fun one. Halloween sweets and pinups. I know I will be diving back into this one soon. Gothic beauty is also something I recently got. There's one. This ended up way too pink, but I just went with it. <laughs> this is also a fun one. It's technically not a Halloween, but it's, you know, there are creepy elements to it and spiders and webs and stuff. So, you know, it fits, I think. <laughs> skulls and bats and all that. It's creepy enough for me and I love it. So that's Gothic Beauty by Deborah Muller. Little Witches by Deborah Muller. Yes, I love, I love, love, love Deborah Muller. I love her witches. They are the fun, the funnest little, cute little, I just adore them. This is a fun one. One I'll be getting into very soon. I anticipate. <laughs> So cute. That's Little Witches. And finally, Hocus Pocus Witches, which I think I've marked off a couple that I want to do in the next couple of days. We shall see how that goes. But again, another really cute book. It's adorable. I do enjoy her style very much. It's a lot of fun. So that's Hocus Pocus Witches. That is all of them. Um, it's quite a stack, but hey, <laughs> it's uh, going to keep me busy throughout the season and this crazy, crazy time we are currently experiencing. So that's it. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Um, I'll probably be back again with another video this week. I'm not sure when, but we'll see. And that's all. Take good care. Thanks for watching and bye.